There are many mythological stories which shows the motif of a tree or in which the tree appears as a man tree. Here the tree represents the self, that which is greater than the ego in man. Part of our life passes like a drama written by a novelist biographer. But behind that, there is a mysterious process of growth which follows its own laws and takes place behind the biographical crisis of life and goes from childhood to old age. Viewed in a mythological context, the greater human being, the Anthropos, is likened to a tree. The motif of a human-shaped godhead being suspended on a tree mirrors the tragedy of human existence. The conscious man constantly pulls away, trying to free himself and to act freely and consciously, and he is then painfully pulled back to the inner processes. The struggle reveals a tragic constellation if it is represented in this painful form. That is why the whole philosophy of the Christian religion has a tragic view of life. To follow Christ, we have to accept mortification and repress certain impulses in order for growth. The basic idea is that human life is based on conflict and strives towards spiritualization, which does not come of itself but is brought forth with suffering. Whenever the conscious and animal personality is in conflict with the inner process of growth, it suffers crucifixion. It is like a man being suspended on the tree and is involuntarily nailed to an unconscious development from which it would like to break away but cannot. We are nailed down to something greater than ourselves which does not allow us to move and which outreaches us. You see this sometimes in the case of a young man who should marry or choose a profession or who discovers that the fullness of youth is leaving him and that he has to accept the ordinary human fate. Many at that moment prefer to die either by an accident or in war rather than become old. At the critical time between 30 and 40, the tree is growing against them. Their inner development is no longer in tune with the conscious attitude, but grows against it, and in that moment they have to suffer a kind of death. It should mean a change of attitude, but may mean actual physical death, a kind of disguised suicide, because the ego cannot give up its attitude. That is the crucial moment where they are sacrificed by a process of inner development which has turned against them. When the inner growth is the enemy of consciousness, this means that something within the man wants to outgrow him that he cannot follow, and therefore he has to die. For the self-will of the conscious personality has to die and surrender to the process of inner growth.